All right, so I'm going to show you how to begin your my map. Again, this my map is focused on a college of your choosing. We're going to start by naming the document. And then I want to uh, make sure I put it in my PCC folders and click on the, that move and put it in your PCC folder. Now, the next most important step is to click on File and go down to Page Setup, and we want to make it custom. This document must be 8.5 by 11, which is the same size of a regular sheet of paper. I'm going to click Apply. Now, you can see here this entire sheet of paper. There are a couple things that you can do. Uh, with this poster project, one of the things that is important to do is to start by clicking uh, using right click or click, tapping with two fingers and changing the background to a color of your choosing. I'm going to choose this green color uh, and then uh, a couple other things that are important to look at. You can add a line, uh, several types of line, a line, an arrow, all of these here. You can also add a shape. So you can select any of these, an arrow, callouts, equations. I'm going to add a shape. I'm just going to add a, a rectangular shape here. When you do that, it'll automatically populate with that light blue and a black border. I'm going to change the color of that shape. Click on that fill color and change it to I'm going to change it to a pink color. Then I want to change my border color. I'm going to change my border color to a yellow. And I want to make it a thicker border color and make it a dashed line. So now you can see the color differences there. I'll actually, I'll make that border just a little bit thicker so you can see it a little bit better. Right, so all the way around there. Another option that you can do is if you've got your text box already up, excuse me, your uh, shape already up, you can double click inside of there and you could uh, put text on the inside of that. I've got my text there. It's very small right now, so I want to increase the size. I can click on it and actually type in a number or I could scroll to a specific number that I want to choose, or I can click the plus or the minus. I'm going to put it at 60. Now that it's over here on the left, I can just, like you do it with any other text, I'm going to make mine bold and underlined. I'm going to change the color to yellow, and I want to have it centered. Uh, right there. All right. So another option that you can add, you can add just a text box by itself right here. Or you could add an image. You could upload the image from your computer, you search the web, add from your drive, photos, URL from your camera. I'm going to search the web. I'm going to search the web for college. And I want to add a picture of a college. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the page there. Okay, so I've just got a basic picture of a college here. Okay, I wanted to resize it and grab, grab the blue squares to resize it. And then while my mouse is a four-way, excuse me, my cursor is a four-way, I can add it and move it to any page, any portion of the page. Another option that I can do is uh, right now you can see that that image is above my text box, I can move that uh, by going to the arrange and going to my order. I'm going to send it that picture all the way to the back. Now you see that that image that I was drawing with is now all the way at the back. Okay, um, and then a couple other things that you can do with this. Uh, you can change some of the formatting, uh, format options over here. You can change your size. You can change your position. You can recolor it. I'm going to recolor this one all the way to a green. 
I don't like that. I'm going to change this to a gold color. And then I can adjust the transparency of that page, or excuse me, of that picture. So that transparency would potentially allow me to see all the way through it or just part of the way through it. Uh, I can change my brightness, make it much more bright or darker. Keep it right there in the middle. And then I can also add a drop shadow if I wanted to. Um, so the angle, transparency, the distance. You can add that shadow. You can barely see that shadow in the back. And then you can also add a reflection if you wanted to. And now you see that reflection there on the bottom. Change the distance. It's further away. Change the size. Make it bigger smaller and play with that as you might i don't like that honestly i don't really like either option for what i'm doing here for this example another thing that's important to look at is when you've got these pictures you want to get them centered when you have your mouse and you click and the cursor and move the image all the way around you'll see that red line that pops up that will let you know that everything is centered properly uh, on the page or vertically or horizontally uh, just so that you can have your work centered properly. And one last thing that I will show you is once you have everything here you can also add uh, word art. So I'm going to add the name my map. You can see that it again populates in that blue color. Uh, you can change the color of that. I'm going to change it to a red. And I'm going to have a, let's do a white background, excuse me, a white border. I'm going to change the border size so you can see it a little bit better. See that there's that border. Make it a little bit smaller. You can also change the font of that. So there's several different fonts here that you can choose, whichever one makes you happy. Choose that one. Several options. Let's go. One of my personal favorites. Rock salt. Okay, so we've got that. And I want to center it on the page. Uh, and then I can make that bold if I wanted to. I can also make it italicized. Not going to do any of those items. But I could make it smaller by moving those arrows. And you'll notice that when it is a when it is one of the word arts, I'm not going to change the number of the font, the si number size of the font. I'm just going to move the arrows and it will make the uh, image bigger or smaller. All right. And there you are. I believe that's all the information that you need to have.